Hey folks, this is IOE throwing our back with some more Minecraft. So, if something looks a little weird to you, like maybe I'm standing in the wall, it's because I'm standing in the wall. I, um, I finally did the thing I meant to do where I pushed this back and carved it out. And now there's a whole new room back here. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to do with it, mind you. Yeah, okay, the torch is in the right position. It was bugging me for a second there. Um, the, the room's a little shorter this way than is that way. I didn't want to go too far that way because uh, not that far away is the um, the mob farm. So, yeah. And I don't know how these guys keep getting in. But I swear, every day I kill at least one of them. See? So, yeah. um, I think that's all. I put this back in the wall so it's a bunch smoother design. Um, you can tell I have a bunch more glowstone now. I did a bunch more grinding. I think that's all that's actually changed. Um, pretty sure. Oh, also I have this thing, which uh, is how I carved this room out so fast. You just put this up on the wall and hold it down. There you go, right? So it lets me carve out tunnels quite swiftly. Um. I'm just gonna light this up so it doesn't spawn anything. Um, what else? That's that's about it. That's that's changed really. Um, if you if I go ahead and jump over into my inventory. Um. No, no mind. <laughs> I did dumb. Anyway, so I had these arranged like this. Uh, because we're going to do something with this in a little bit. But first, we're going to walk over here and look at this table. And this is how you make a copy of gear. But why only have one of them? We're out of copper. Of course we're out of copper. Do I have copper in here? No. I have obsidian in there. Uh, well, um... We're just, we're just gonna make some copper because I need it and I want it, and so yeah. Um, let's see. We also need some flint because we're, I've decided we're gonna go ahead and make the pulverizer, and that go there. This goes here. This goes there and there. That goes there. That's not right. That's correct. Okay, so we're just gonna use the smeltery, the weights intended, pull up four um, copper ingots, um, cast a whole block. This will eventually turn into. Uh, be turned into ingots itself, but it's just a great way to get a ton of copper out all at the same time. Go ahead and turn this into a gear. And then let's use it. What have I messed up? I was pretty sure I got that exactly right. But obviously, I have done something wrong. Pulverizer. Oh, uh, oddly enough. There we go. I believe this room was going to ho house the machines. So, um, we're just going to put it here. I don't know how it's going to go or where it's going to go, but this is where this design comes in. I'll go ahead and put everything in its appointed spot. And... Da -da. We have a survival generator, which is also a quest. Go ahead and set that down in the middle of the room. And we're going to need some charcoal. Put a bunch in here. Don't need that much. And throw it in here, and it will start to power up. You can see it cooking as it cooks. 
it will feed this as it does. It will actually put power over here. And now we have a pulverizer. Two, three, four. Go ahead and throw that there. And when this power hits the right amount, it will power this and start to grind our diamonds into something useful. Uh, where did I put those chests? Up there. You know, just smack this down on top. And configure this to be an output for everything. And now it's grinding away. Slowly, but it is grinding away. Okay, so while that does that, um, what else can we do other than, of course, turn all the copper into ingots and get it put away? I'm going to walk one more. So we'll just do that. Um, what other quests were we about to complete? Ah, right, endstone. So where did we put? Where did I put the endstone? Yeah, so we we need nine, so we have eight there. Um, so we just walk over here. Make sure this is free. Grab a bucket. Oop, and some go so. There we go. That is our ninth All right, quest complete. Yay! Claim a reward because, oops, I've just realized we passed the five minute mark a while ago. Uh, so let's open this thing. Let's stand on the beautiful generator of awesomeness. And we got. Ooh, ooh. Actually, that's really nice. Eventually, that will be really handy. Uh, right now, it's just useless, but eventually, it will be really handy. <laughs> um, I'm also put the bucket back. And oh, these items uh, make is, use the acquired items to, to make a portal to the end. Okay then, evil tear. Well, that we don't have yet, but the rest of the stuff we can get. Okay, well, we'll start that at some point. Uh, I don't have the materials for any of the rest of this yet. Power generation we have completed, so let's go grab the loot. Though nothing else in here even speaks of anything we want. Let's grab her. That's probably the next goal we should go for. Um, that or the prosperity shards up to 16. I believe I have like 11 right now. Where are they? They're up there. Yeah, 11. So, there's that. Um, yeah. Let's go see how our diamonds are made. Ah, oh, yeah, right, because I didn't have enough diamonds for anything. But, now, we have two. Yay! And I put, I have two here. So now I have four diamonds. That is enough for what? I'm sure it's enough for something. Diamond mesh. That's what we're gonna make. Uh, string. We need like five of these. Is it like this? It is! Diamond Stiffened Mesh. So we go over here. I'm going to take this out and put this in. Now we have a much better chance of achieving diamonds. So let's click on this for a second. Okay. 
So this is what you get with iron stiffer mesh out of compressed ender gravel. With a regular string mesh, you get some things that aren't particularly useful. With a diamond stiffer mesh, soccer pearls, and that, and we can use the diamond stiffer mesh to get all sorts of lovely things. Ardite and cobalt out of compressed uh, uh, nether gravel, which is a thing we're gonna need. Uh, what did I do? <laughs> I'm not 100% certain, but it's not the point. We can. Why is it? No, I don't care. Oh, uh, we can get prosperity shards at much better drop rates, which we need. Um. Grains of infinity. Coal diamonds at 3% instead of like 0.2% or something like that. It's just everything is much, much easier to get. Lord. Instead of like 1%, I can now have a 12% chance of glowstone dust. Yay! Um, basically, now everything we need is available. Cool. Let's go ahead and throw this in a chest. Uh, so you can set this up with a hopper. You can design it so that like each of these inputs sucks things in from separate chests and stuff like that. I'm just gonna finish grinding these golden or these diamond boots, and then we're gonna go ahead and hop over to uh, well, we're gonna do the last loot chest, and then I guess we should actually probably complete the quest, shouldn't we? Right? quest complete yay we'll do that next time and this is what I really wanted to get into I've been waiting to get into this for so long oh I can't wait to to do that that should be a ton of fun and it should help our productivity and everything else out a ton so yeah but for right now we're going with speed upgrade not amazing but actually very helpful uh, I will put it in the junk chest because I have nothing to speed up right this second. But I will not too long from now. Also, gonna put the instrument back. Okay, cool. Well, this place is starting to shape up into something useful, something that we can do some stuff with, and I'm starting to really enjoy it. So, I can't wait for our next episode on Thursday and obviously we're gonna be upgrading the generator at that point in time and I want to start doing some more stuff in this room but we'll get to that later um also one thing sh I should note is we upgraded the tool forge so I can make the hammer it also lets us make some really cool weaponry like a laser gun and stuff like that um and we'll get into that at some point later for now though Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This IOE.